Hello everybody and welcome back to some more GT New Horizons. I've been doing a lot of things off camera, just mainly building. I mean, we're not having a building, but like mining stuff out as you can tell from the mini map. Um, making a bunch of rooms for some things that I have planned for today. Uh, decided to mine all the way down there because just to see how far I can just see how far or how much room I have. This whole place is not going to look like this. Eventually, I will spruce things up, but for now, I'm just going to continue. The water looks so weird. I've decided to make a room for liquids. Stuff like, um, you know, water, steam creosote oil right and stuff so it's gonna be all up here definitely enough room like got the ceiling all the way up to the point where i can't reach it so yeah definitely enough room for <laughs> for everything we want to do and we can continue expanding which will obviously happen um yeah this goes outside and have some water tanks out there they're all completely full it's crazy just just them being outside they are completely full so we won't have any water problems, unless of course we for some reason do. I, I don't know what to do after that, but but definitely should be be good to go. Right here is an eerie biome, and the humidity is fifty percent. Maybe I should probably move it over here. I thought about having like water tanks at the very top of this uh, mountain, but. Um, I should be fine. So a few things I ended up doing off camera is here. I decided to put a hopper. So specifically for things like if I put cactus or sugarcane in there, it will turn it into sugarcane charcoal and then be sifted down into here to be turned into charcoal or cocoa. <laughs> So, pretty neat little automation there. Um, I have creosote oil, but not all of them, but eventually all of them being piped into that big tank over there. Of course, using pumps, since we're able to make rubber. Uh, kind of the same thing right there as well. Oh, I can't remember what else I ended up showing in the last episode, but it's been a few days because I've been like rearranging stuff, making rooms, planning, and whatnot. So I also added a few things to the to the list. Um, we won't be doing things in order, but eventually. We'll be doing some of these things. But today we're going to be making an orberry farm. At least one where we can get started. Um, and we're also going to be making some iron tanks as well. Doing a few things this time. I don't know how long the last one was, but hopefully it was long enough. If not, oh well, it's whatever. Uh, I'm going to take a look at this. Please be something good. Actually, hold on. Let's look at this for a second. So... This is an IC2 crop bag, and this is pretty much all we're going to be getting. Um, a spade. We can try to... Higher chance. Is that supposed to be a chance of yielding seed bags? Get a crap ton of crop sticks. Get blocks of lead, nickel, and what? That's so random. And we there's even a chance to get machines that we can't even make. Crop, crop matron. Crop har harvester. More than likely a way to automatically harvest things from the crop sticks, which originally should be impossible, but I just recently looked at this and I thought that was pretty cool. Yeah, I, I'm clicking and I can't even see if I can make it, so we have to get lucky. I don't know if we're ever going to get lucky, but yeah, nothing, nothing good. <laughs> I will keep the torches down. But other than that, I have... Decided to mine into the side of this of this mountain. The idea I have right now is kind of having like a big hallway that goes around this whole place. 
allowing you to check out the scenery and whatnot, and there'll be like doors going into certain buildings. I think that'd be pretty sweet. It's really nice though, I like it. What was that? So, like I was saying, it's pretty cool little scenery. See everything. I think... I think this would be a cool place to make some farms, maybe. Maybe have like a cool little village. You know, on the river and whatnot. I don't know, some some ideas some ideas to keep in mind. Uh yeah. Alright, so let's get started. Um I want to make more crop sticks, like a bunch more. And a really easy way to do it is by going into the coins tab and getting some wood. Oh, you only need one. And grab some coins and there you go. Do that because I don't think it will automatically do it for you. And then you get some crap sticks. Takes about an hour for it to refresh and whatnot. I can even get some glass dust. <clears throat> yeah, for some reason I can get some spawn eggs. Might as well try and like grind it a bit, like trying to get some Sendermen spawn eggs in case you get one that has like re regen on it. And then you can do that whole Ender Pearl automation kind of thing, which I think I might do on this side. You can even get ore. I don't even understand the point of this. You need to get a full stack of iron ore to get a different kind of iron ore. What is the point of that? That's a good point. What am I also going to do with this junk? I'm going to keep the dirt though. It's pretty valuable for me right now. But yeah, uh, the farther you get in the game, the more quests will be unlocked. You could press this button here, but I'm not going to do it because I don't want to spoil it for me. I do need to find a lapis ore. This is actually pretty hard. I actually found, I think we only found like one in another world for a friend of mine. Just out of pure chance when I was looking for tin. A bunch of coins. anymore. Well, this will be a good amount for now. Uh, I'm going to take this tank. I was planning on upgrading this huge tank and this one into a diamond one, but I ended up finding out I need... I can't make diamond plates normally. I have to get a, a cutter or whatever it's called. Something like that. I've also decided to use the creosote oil to cook my ore. This is much faster than the the furnace thing over there, unfortunately, but the electric one will become even faster. But a good use for the, the oil, at least. I have been doing a lot of grinding, as you can tell. Lots of iron tin. Too much. Oh, I, have, I forgot to mention. Make sure to make a, a forge hammer. Once you're done grinding your ore, this guy can smash it down into into dust, making it a much faster process than putting it back into a macerator. Keep that in mind. Uh, let's see, I think I'll be fine. I'm gonna be getting rid of these guys and putting a. Well, maybe not. I'm just gonna keep it up there. Out of curiosity, I want to see. You know, it might actually be that tall. I'll find out later. I was curious of like how many blocks there is between this room and the, and the one above. Getting a good amount of cactus on the side. Oh yeah, that's one more thing I want to show. But yeah, good amount of cactus. This is working really well. I do plan on putting another layer on top. Although I'm kind of curious if I should have another area to catch the stuff underneath instead of having all that stuff falling downwards. But. I'll skip that and just see how it goes. Uh, let's see. Let's go into our new room. I want to have a pretty big, pretty big area here, but not too big of an area because you know I just I want to do more stuff over here. In fact, I might actually just have a kitchen probably right here. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have a kitchen like right over here with more farms and stuff. I'm gonna be doing some indoor farming. 
You should really get the ore berries and stuff. So the first ones I'm going to be planting here. Definitely, definitely be aluminum and gold. So I'm going to put these on the side. All right. Oh, we also need dirt. Oh my god. Okay. I'm trying to figure out how I could see this tooltip. There's a, so these berries can only grow. I'll explain it when I get back. Okay, so these berries can only grow in a certain light level, which I'm trying to figure that out. So let's see here. I think I'm going to have... Yeah, I'm going to have it right here. I'm going to have water here. There we go. Um, tier five. That's funny. So it says it can't grow, but it, now it can. What's the see, light level? Okay, we can't see the light level as when we look it over here at the tooltip. Uh, let's see here. It can grow. We can have it to the point where mobs can't spawn here. Plus, we can have slabs too to prevent that if you want. I think that's what I'm gonna go with. But these guys can grow. They do take a while to grow, <laughs> so that's why I want to get this done as soon as possible before we get into anything more crazy. Um, does that grow? At least the growth stage or the percentage doesn't reset hey. after it says that. Plus, hey. you can even hurt yourself on it. I hate that. <laughs> but I guess it makes sense because that's what originally what the bushes do, I guess. Um, there is a way to keep yourself from hurting, getting hurt from the crops. Uh, some sort of special way, some sort of trick you would use with... Uh, using slabs and whatnot, but we'll get to that when we do. So I'm gonna mine out a huge area here. I mean, huge area, I mean, very long trench, whatever you want to fucking call it. Oh, yeah. Uh, I was just thinking, like, can't I have to where. I can have two rows of ore berries and then another a trench of water. Well, no. If we want to keep ourselves from getting hurt from the ore berries, we're going to have to do a special trick here, so. Kind of the unfortunate part about it. I really hope I can get more of those icy two crop bags. I did not know you could do that. I am glad I made that discovery. Alright, that should be good. That should be a good start. By the way, if you're curious how you can see the red X's and the yellow ones, you just press F7. Kinda of sucks, but I don't want to have any flowing sources, because unfortunately it does cause a bit of lag, so... Trying to limit the amount of low flowing sources, the better, I guess.
<laughs> That's funny. I think for the next few episodes, or at least, at least the last one and this one, definitely going to be filled, filled with montages, I swear. <laughs> Alright, good start. Good start indeed. Uh, so this one, I think it's, I think I'm gonna have two rows of aluminum berries, and and so and the same thing for the rest. Uh, I think over here I'm gonna have something else. I'm not entirely sure. I like to have just a, like a long stretch of plot farms and whatnot. Uh, if I need more, I'm definitely going to be going downwards, not upwards. I have to say, we definitely made a lot of progress. And we're still at the beginning. <laughs> kind of funny how that works. Alright, I'm going to... It sucks I can't place down the these things right now, because then there will be weeds growing. But I'm going to be right back. I need some slabs. I think I might just use wooden slabs. Becoming... Pretty cold outside now. Halloween's on its way. Even at the end of September, at least when I record this, it is. <laughs> kind of thought about what I would do for like a Halloween episode. I think I might actually. Ooh. Yeah, I think I have a pretty good idea. <laughs> I think it'll be fine. Ooh. Yeah, I think this will definitely be fine. Just putting slabs here. Oh, for a second there, I thought it was weeds in this. No, it's it's just it's at a certain stage now. Yeah, I think it'll stay this way after you harvest it, but apparently it's at a stage where it'll always look like this. We can actually get rid of some of these and let them continue to grow. Let's see, uh just to get an eye that still grows even though there's a torch here. I always kind of thought it was a light level. Light level maybe 10 or 11 or 12, but it seems like this one can grow. Uh. Ooh. This. It cannot because it's a light level 12. So, anything higher. <coughs> anything higher than 11, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, 11 or higher, it can't grow. So, 11, it's it. It is okay. Apparently, you won't get anything better than that. <laughs> it it won't grow. So noted. Forgetting, I can't do that yet. All right, I'm gonna finish up the rest of the rest of these plots, and I'll be right back. All right. Whoa! Ow! That is pretty much about it. Saving a bit of water, I just decided to do water in every other. Wrench, I guess. Pretty much what we can do here Ooh. is put something here so we don't run into it. Or at least the hitbox, so we can just harvest it and still be able to reach around it in case it run in case it like hops in there or hops in, or an item hops in the middle, you know, totally possible. We could still also have a two row of, of aluminum, which I think I might actually do. But at the same time, there's a big chance that it will land in the middle. And then I'll have to break this shit. So I don't think I'm gonna do that. Like, fine for now. 
I could just harvest aluminum whenever it's ready. So that is the idea. Uh, I think this area over here would just be like storage and whatnot. Thinking about a, like a different way to get here, but I think maybe like a waypoint would be better. I'm mean, kind of lazy, but still. Um. So yeah, I'm just gonna leave that for now. All right. Next thing on the agenda today, that we're gonna make some iron tanks. Nothing crazy about that. So with that in mind, I'm gonna be breaking these down. That uh, might be a bad idea since I lost all that water, but we have a bunch of tanks above that have like almost half, no actually, would it be like 420 buckets of water, I think? So, not a big deal really, I'm not wasting anything other than the water in there, but nothing too serious. Just gonna re redo all this stuff, and I think I'm gonna make this whole area just a bunch of crafting and storage to make it a bit more accessible in here. And I like the the glass here. I should turn this off. Whoa! Might as well just bring this stuff in here. That, about time we kind of like move away from this small little area. It's actually really refreshing. Also, you can use your dolly to pick up this thing so you don't have to break the recipes. I don't think I show that off, but if I did, well, then I did. I think we should get drawers for the ingots. One chest is not going to be enough. Okay, this should be a good little area to work with. I like it. These are chests filled up with stuff that I got from the, uh, from the loot games. I don't even know if I drank this. I don't think it even matters. <laughs> or it counts or whatever. Okay, I like to have, like, a bunch of crafting tables. To either store things, like my tools, which I've been kind of doing. Or... Just to have, like, this is a big recipe. I can just have, like, one recipe per step, I guess, kind of thing. I don't know. I think that's a pretty nifty idea. As soon as I can make diamond upgrade chests or whatever they're called, I am 100% gonna upgrade everything. Get as much inventory space as possible. Alright, cool. Uh, that'll be it for now. I do want to make another table. Oh, it's raining. Nice. I do want to make another t work table. That's why I'm making this. And... Books. I was collecting a lot of these in the first few episodes, at least. When I was when I found that village for a good reason to make these bookshelves. Alright, another work table. This one we're going to dedicate to making plates. Cut down on the crafting, and then I'm going to make another one that is dedicated to making tools. Don't worry about the, uh, the durability of how much you're using for the tool to make the recipe. You know, it's all the same. <laughs> sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Just to cut down on the clicking. The managing, micromanaging, I guess. So the very next thing we should be doing is making steel. Or the bricked blast furnace. But of course, we still got other things to do. Such as... Making tanks. Finally, start doing that. Oh, you know, I'm gonna make one more work table that's dedicated to making uh, tanks and whatnot. 
Okay, let's finally get started. Um, I know I have a bunch of iron rods somewhere. Yeah, there they are. Uh, yeah, let's get a bunch of iron. At least enough so where, to where we can make... I'll be using a bit, so yeah. Uh, that's the reason why I got a lot of iron. But I still have a bit to smelt here as well. I still need to get a lot of iron. Oh my god. I want at least a pretty decent one that's about, let's see here, that's about five blocks tall. And Probably a three by three. I think that would be a good, good place to end with. Oops, not. Oh my god, that's a good place to start with. Because each block, if I understand this correctly, is a sixteen or adds about like sixteen buckets per block, including this and including this. But fuck, I'm trying. I try to remember my dimensions. God damn it. I'm kind of thinking about, but I might actually extend it. Because the walls part is the most expensive part of this whole multi block. And then we can make the glass one, which is a lot more manageable, since making glass is not that crazy hard. In fact, we can actually buy some glass dust to help out. Oh my. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we got like 32. That's really good. I don't have a whole lot of these. <laughs> Anything I can throw this into other than the tinkers? Uh, I mean, we could use the alloy smelter, but I need a mold. So I'll use this as a canvas, I guess. So that's the idea. It's a great tank to start out with. It doesn't really cost that much. And then we gotta like fill the bottom part here. Of course we can just do this. That. Do that. You don't need the whole thing to be like one big wall. You can add some glass in there. That's the idea. Um, let's see. Holy shit. This should be good enough. Oh, please tell me. Oh my god. Don't I didn't just waste it. Okay. Should be good. And bam, it's formed. And we get to hold about 720 buckets. That is fantastic. And this can be a great buffer in case your tanks, or at least the ones above us right now, are the water tanks that we use to collect our water with. You know, in case they run out, this can be a great buffer. So, that is cool. Make sure to keep these in chunk boundaries. Or, sorry, make sure to keep this in a chunk. This is a multi block, so I highly recommend that you do.
You don't need to make the whole thing or have all sides of the glass. You can have it all like, or at least three sides of it, just walls. And then one glass. I only did this because it's cheaper to make the the glass blocks of the tank. See, it's just a few plates and compared to the other one, it's just four plates. A bit cheaper, but that's okay. And the drain itself is not too bad. Just a little bit of bronze, iron. Pretty cool. <laughs> I need two more. What the hell? Okay, I was going to say, like, please let that count. And there we go. Alright. And we got our gold berries. Let's get these planted. I will admit this can kind of, this will be kind of irritating to deal with, but it's better than nothing. I should probably have a door that's easier to get in here. I might actually just put this as the door. Can I? Yeah, we can just do that. Later though, uh I'll keep it that way. I already grown. There we go. Ooh. Nice, just the beginning. These guys are almost done too. Uh, one thing I almost forgot to mention is that these, at least from what I was told from a friend of mine, is that if you have a block of, let's say, aluminum for these ore berries, you'll, I think you'll get more out of each harvest because there's a block of it underneath. Uh, if anyone knows if that's true or not, true or not, you can correct me, but I think that's tr true. I have to look that up. I haven't, I haven't done that yet. <laughs> but if it's true, it's pretty sweet. Alright, um, I want to get this connected, and I think that should be about it. In the next episode, I think we'll finally get started making a blast furnace. The bricked blast furnace. That would be fantastic, and I hope I have enough, or if I can make enough for two, just for a good start. Ooh. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna sleep. Apparently putting glass on top works. I didn't know that. Add him with a valve down here, and so the... So, you know, I could pour in there. I don't have to bring it all the way up there, and, you know, waste pipes. It's all those are connected. And there we go, we're getting water. Uh, you don't have to have a valve all the way up there. You can have it at the base if you want, and it'll still fill up. These are connected. Took a lot of freaking iron to make all this shit though, holy smokes. But it was worth it. Alright, so yeah, that would be it for today. Uh, apologies for the slow uploads. Like, the farther we get, the slower the videos are gonna be, or to upload them. For sure. Um, it took me a few days, like, to mine this stuff out, and then, then I did that whole around, dig around the whole mountain thing. Um, but hopefully it won't be like that again. I got some other things I'm doing as well for, like, streaming. I've been trying to practice Super Metroid. Stayed running 100% as well, so. Got a hard to juggle these things. <laughs> As I'm just starting to find out. But, anyways, that should be about it. I was a good amount of progress. I really like this. Uh, so yeah, the movie will be. <laughs> Alright, that should be about it. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later. Bye bye.